Welcome to the program. You're watching Sean Bike. My name is Sean Santa Maria. How you guys doing? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to replace the brake pads on your rim brake calipers. Take note, rim brakes. Okay, if your bike is on disc brakes, there's other videos for that. This is specific to rim brakes, okay? So the process is super simple. In fact, I haven't done it before, but it's one of those things where uh, I just look at it I, and I instantly know how to replace it. It's one of those things. I'm a kind of mechanically gifted, I'm kind of technically gifted, and some people are just naturally like that. And uh, if you're not one of those people, then this video is perfect for you, okay? So let's do it. Okay, here we go guys. Here's what we'll need. Get your hex wrench set and pull out the number two. This is the number two. Uh, this would be uh, the tiniest, the smallest in this batch at least. And uh, you know, you have your multi-tools, right? Not all multi-tools will have the number two. I know it sucks. So uh, it pays to buy a full set like this. Well, this isn't the full set, but uh, this pretty much has everything you'll ever need for uh, bike repair. And uh, this is a uh, bike hand brand. Uh, so you'll need your number two hex wrench. And uh, you'll need, of course, your brake pads. And, uh, take note, these are carbon rim brake pads. Because there's regular brake pads and those brake pads are just made for um, alloy or aluminum brake lines, okay? And uh, those brake pads are gonna be a little too harsh for carbon rims. Uh, you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna dig your carbon rims and you're gonna damage them. I uh, don't want that. So you need carbon rim specific brake pads, okay? And uh, these are already carbon rim specific brake pads. And uh, the reason why I'm replacing them is that I, I, I kind of sense and I kind of feel, see and hear that uh, they, they're, they're just harsh for my rims. And uh, for whatever reason, I, I'm just not comfortable um, con in, in using this and continuing to use this. So I bought these cork, uh, carbon specific brake pads. These are cork and uh, these are gonna be so much better. Uh, they're gonna be, they're squishier and uh, I think they're gonna do a better job and uh, more importantly, they're gonna protect my rims. They're not gonna damage my rims. I just want my rims to last longer. Of course, uh, these aren't cheap rims and uh, um, I don't wanna spend on new rims just because I was careless about my brake pads, okay? So um, you, you'll need these and I bought this from Lazada. Okay, how much are these? Uh, they're under 500 pesos, all right? Um, can't find the price right there, but uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're just under 500 pesos, uh, two sets. You got two pairs. And I'm gonna replace uh, the, the rear and uh, the front, okay? So let's do this. Get your number two hex wrench. And, uh, you know how screwing and unscrewing goes, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Twist to the left. And uh, I haven't done this before. I did mention to you I haven't done this before. And the way this works, I'm sure, is uh, uh, this, uh, this bolt serves as some kind of stopper uh, that goes in here, all right? And this is a slide-out action setup over here. See, I haven't done this before, but just by looking at it, kind of know how that works. Uh, there's a letter here. It says R. Okay, R. This is the right side. Man, these are just the difference is night and day. These are softer and squishier and uh, they, they feel that they have more uh, stopping power. They have better stopping power than this one. Goodness, okay, let's slide that in. Super simple, man. Put the bolt back. That's it, that's it. You're gonna do the same for the other side. The process would be the same for the front. And I don't think I need to show you how that goes because uh, uh, once you've done one, you can do them all. And we're done, the rear is good. We placed both brake pads. It's looking nice and we've done the same for the front, of course. 
no longer took a video, but the process is the same. Super simple concept. Uh, but the front was a little trickier to replace because um, uh, the, the fork's in the way and I needed space, I needed to free up space, so I removed the front wheel so I could insert the brake pads. Okay, but super simple process, super easy. Man, these cork brake pads, so of course I gave it a little uh, test squish, right? And uh, they're, they're squishier, I just know they have better stopping power and I feel more confident that uh, these new brake pads will not damage my rims. And there you have it. I did tell you it was going to be easy, sobra and simple, do it yourself, DIY, saves you a trip to the bike shop, saves you a little bit of money as well, okay? So I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, if you like my videos in general, show some love and give me a sub. If you haven't subscribed yet, it means a lot to me. And better yet, follow me on Instagram. If you have questions, send me a message. That way we can have a conversation, okay? You guys always ride safe. Thanks for watching. That's it for the video. God bless you all. I'll see you next time.